Indirect Investment Crazy IG CSE Welcome back to Crazy IG CSE For those of you who are new to my channel Hi, this is Crazy IG CSE where you can study 7 IG CSE subjects at one place The subjects include Biology, Physics, English, Mathematics, Business, Economics and Accounts So here is IG CSE at your fingertips Please subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down. Now let's start the topic. So what do we mean by foreign direct investment? So this is basically the investment made by a firm or an individual in one country into a business interests located in another country. So this means that a business expands its domestic operations to another country, so to a foreign country. So in this case, the business conducts the same activities but in a foreign country. McDonald's opening in uh, opening restaurants in Japan would be considered as a horizontal FDI. Now we'll be learning about the types of FDI. Now let's look at the advantages of an FDI. So FDI creates direct benefits such as new capital and jobs, which in turn boosts the government tax revenues, and they use it for government expenditure into healthcare, education, infrastructure. Also, it boosts the foreign exchange. It causes a rise in investment and GDP of the country, diversification of economy, grows country's exports, more competition in markets, which will lower the consumer prices, increasing the labor productivity. Disadvantages include that the company could include an unstable and unpredictable foreign economy, unstable political systems, and underdeveloped legal systems. It could also cause inequality and limited job creation. So there are three types of FDI, horizontal FDI, vertical FDI, and conglomerate FDI. Now we'll be looking at each of them with an example. So horizontal foreign direct investment. It refers to the foreign manufacturing of products and services similar to those the firm produces in its home market. So the similar products are produced in a foreign market, a foreign country. So this type of FDI is called horizontal because the multinational they duplicate the same activities in the different countries. For example, McDonald's opening restaurants in Japan. So this is the same example. Vertical FDI. This occurs when a multinational acqu acquires an operation that either acts as a supplier or a distributor. Example, Toyota buying a car distribu di distributorship in America. Conglomerate FDI. So this is where a company or individual makes a foreign investment in a business which is unrelated to its ex existing business in its home country. Maybe in country A they are doing food production but in country B they are doing a clothes production. So in conglomerate investments a business acquires an unrelated business in a foreign country. For example, Samson, the electronics also make uh, Samsung's also make military hardware, apartments, ships, and Google is best described as a digital conglomerate. FDI rewards the best companies in any country. It reduces the influence of local governments over them. The key drivers of FDI include higher profits, market access, the reduction in cost, and avoiding any trade barrier. The policies which attract FDI include attractive rates of corporation tax, subsidies, flexible labor markets, high quality infrastructure, attraction of low unit labor costs, which will in turn reduce the costs. Now here's a little mind map on this whole topic. So there are two forms of FDI, establishing operations there and buying a firm in a foreign country. The political ideology is the radical stance, non-intervention and the pragmatic nationalism. It also ref uh, prefers FDI over licensing when, the pro when they protect the knowledge and there is a tight control over the manufacturing and it is not suitable to licensing. Also, the benefits and costs to source countries and that's employment, resource transfer effects and the national sovereignty, 
competition BOP so BOP is the balance of payments and then uh, the FDI also exploits resources location specific there's higher transportation or tariffs and that may be a barrier to the exports the governments encourage FDI through incentives and the government discourage FDI through ownership restrictions and performance requirements now in this we don't have to learn each and every single thing but you need to have a general idea of what FDI is its benefits its uh, risks and the form of FDI Thank you for watching Crazy IGCSE. This is the end of our topic. Please subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for watching.